Greetings, YouTube. General Pence is helping to lead the war on women. Um, I'm, there's going to be a link below which will bring you to an article about the topic at hand, but it's got auto ads, which is why it's not on at the moment. I find those really annoying. However, I've got the pull quote that I really want to emphasize right here. Um, if, all, if all of us do all we can, we can once again in our time restore the sanctity of life to the center of American law. Now, what is he discussing? He's discussing, he believes that we in the United States of America can end legal abortion in our time. Now, he actually frames it as ending abortion. But that's not what's going to happen. Abortion has always taken place from the earliest records of our history, of the world, of humanity. Abortion has taken place. Manual abortions, chemical abortions, they have already have, always happened, and they always will. It's just at the moment, in the United States, though there are many, many hurdles in the path of achieving an abortion in America, um, some of them involve angry uh, evangelicals with guns, um, or bombs, or, 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 or uh, molotovs and such, uh, it's legal to get abortions in America. Mike Pence isn't going to end abortion. His socially conservative um, brown shirts are not going to end abortions. What they can potentially do is end legal abortions. Abortions will continue to happen. Now, rich white people will never be put in danger because of this. They will be able to access abortions without difficulty through private doctors, the way rich white people have always been able to, to um, access abortion through their private uh, medical staff. It's always happened. Um, but this will endanger the lives of poor people, brown people, and black people. In fact, it will cost human lives. Now, before anyone talks about killing the unborn babies, there is no such thing as an unborn baby. There are fetuses. Let's use the proper terms. Now, if you'd like to push the emotional narrative and call them unborn babies, you're going to get kicked off my channel. They're not unborn babies. They're fetuses. So if you want to use the proper term fetus and have a discussion about this in the comments below, feel free. If you start throwing them out emotional language such as unborn baby, you're gone. I don't need your bullshit. All right? Flat out. A fetus is not a human being. It's a potential human being. It is human material. The woman carrying the fetus, however, is an actual living, breathing, sapient being with full autonomy and moral agency. The fetus is a parasite. Now, you may be saying, oh, you can't say that about a fetus. Yes, I can, because it is what a fetus is. Now, some people want those fetuses in their body. Okay, go for it. Have a baby. Many people don't. And they should have legal access to remove those fetuses from their body, which can end up there through any number of circumstances beyond their control and their desire. Because you see, having babies, the pro-pregnancy, anti-choice crowd, is considered a punishment for women engaging in sex that social conservatives don't approve of. And the lives that will be cost, uh, that, that will be lost because of the loss of legal abortion are considered in their minds as justifiable punishment for daring to have sex outside of the strict bonds of marriage and such that social conservatives believe in. But it doesn't even occur to them that married women don't want to have babies sometimes and they would like to have the fetus removed from their bodies, which at the moment at least they can do. Sometimes it's for economic reasons. Sometimes it's because the woman just doesn't want to be a parent. I know that's a horrible concept to some of you folks out there. Too fucking bad. The only uterus you get to control is the one you have. If you don't have a uterus, you don't get to control any uterus. Frankly, I don't think men should be allowed to vote on this topic. They are not the ones carrying the fetus. Period. Pardon the pun. Women are. And women should be able to control their own bodies, express their agency and their autonomy. 
And Mike Pence is an enemy of every woman in America. And anyone that supports him is anti-woman, anti-feminist, anti-reason. And I don't need any of your bullshit. Mike Pence is a general in the war on women. And we don't need him, we don't need his war, and we don't need social conservatives in America. Social conservatism is a disease. And the sooner we eradicate it, the better off we will be as a species.